My New Year's resolution is to never make them again. <laughs> no, I think you always, I don't know if you want to call it a resolution or challenge yourself to something. My goal this year is to play because I've worked my entire life and I just want to have fun. I've been very blessed to see my work as work and my life as life. And I think that's where in show business, a lot of people get lost maybe, is they their self-worth is invested only in their work. And you can't, you have to have a life outside. I don't have to be on stage to be happy. I can always be happy. I feel that when you get into that self-wallowing of my life sucks, and we all go through that, that the first thing you need to do is start counting your blessings and serve somebody else. How I feel stronger when I'm struggling is I serve other people. By helping them, you feel better about who you are. You end up brightening their life, it makes you feel better. When I did my book signings, I would stay there for hours. And this one, I would cry. This one couple came through and they had me sign a book. And she said, can I hug you? And I said, of course you can hug me. And she said, I wish you would have written this a year ago because maybe our daughter would still be alive. She took her life because she had terrible, severe postpartum depression. That's why I have shared things in my life, whether it's the loss of my son, because I feel if it can help one person, then that's what we're supposed to do as women. We're supposed to complete each other. When I was a single mom, very, very difficult. I had to get my kids on an absolute schedule. I had to get them in bed because I needed that hour to myself. It is important to practice what you call mindfulness. Make sure that you have boundaries. Make sure that you take those little moments, whether it was just to take a bath or to read a book or to sit and cry. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It is always worth it to invest in yourself, your mental health. Being a woman in our world today is so tough. There's so many voices out there telling you what you have to be. You know, it's interesting, Betty White just passed away, who was like a second mom to me. One thing I loved about Betty is she always had those nerves behind her. You have to have that energy behind you to make you go out and do a good job. She always had that. I've been working for six decades, and I think I grew up in the worst era possible. <laughs> Basically, I call it the Twiggy era, where if you weren't under 100 pounds, you wouldn't have a job. Because of that, I have dieted my entire life. I think that affects your mental health. It affects your self-esteem, your self-worth. My philosophy is I don't do skinny, I do healthy. I am happier now because I'm healthier now. That is the number one thing. It's why I actually talk about Nutrisystem and why I'm still talking about their program for 15 years now. They teach you to connect your mind and body and that you can love yourself. Focus on you being the best you. I think the world will change. <laughs>